Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day and uh, welcome to the bench for another good trout fly here that's easy to tie. Uh, it's my little brown stone, it's tired, tied uh, entirely with turkey quill and goose bites, very simple. We'll need a lot of materials. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. I'm going to be using a Tamco 200R size 8 continuous curve hook. On the front I'll be using a um, tungsten bead. This is a 1 8 size. Uh, cool or brown magic. It's a nice coloration. We'll be using also underneath to get her down. We'll need some 0 .035 lead wire. And you can use uh, no lead as well, the uh, substitutes for that. The body is going to be made with uh, white tip turkey quill. And also just some brown goose bites. Pretty simple. Use some 6 aught brown, dark brown thread and you're good to go. Let's get a hook in the vise. We'll get started. What I'll do is I'm going to lay a thread base down as I like to and all my flies give it uh, materials aren't sliding around on you. Rotary vise gets that done job done fairly quickly. I'll come in here with a couple my goose bites. I'm going to lay these, there's a bit of a curvature to them, curve side out. Too long. Shorten them up. There's going to be a nice split tail at the back here for you. Now match up the length and just hold that on the side with my thumb. Soft loop that on, and I'll get tied just down the bottom. Now they'll want to kind of roll in on you. I'll just take a little turn in behind them and split those tails. They really have a large split tail on these stone flies. Get my thread out of the way for a second. And then I'll bring in the uh, my lead wire and pull this on tight when you when you wrap your lead forward. 0.35. Give a little bit of space at the front. Cut that off with a side nipper. And then that's got a bit of a taper. That's good. And then you'll see a bit of a area here. It's got a kind of a void, a bit of a lump. You can fill that either in with um, thread if you like, just to uh, give it a nice you got to make sure it transitions from that thin to the thick for the body. Or you can put a little dab of glue in behind there if you want. Some solar res or some UV or something like that if you like to. Make sure my tails are good. There you go. Now we'll just come in with some of our... Uh, the turkey quill. And this is nice long material. I've got it sprayed, let it dry. I do all my feathers well ahead of time. Always use them for wings or whatever. You can see it doesn't split on you. It doesn't want to do that. Hold together. You can split them down if you want them a little smaller. But I'm going to tie this in by the the tip just where I start getting some markings. And a bit of an angle back here. And then uh, this duplicates that color of that stone fly nymph very, very well, in my opinion. Get some nice segmentation going. You can stop right there. You get up to about the thorax. See that nice model? There's no synthetics that'll give you that model appearance like that. That looks really authentic. 
Now, when you're doing the wings, I'll just cut off a little piece here for you. You can use some of this down here, some of the shorter fibers if you want. You want to match them to about the width of your, a little wider than your bug. They're nice. Wing going there. You can do a couple things. You can cut your uh, V into the kind of get a shape on your wing with just your scissors. Get a nice little shape on them like that. You can also, there's some cool little tools you can buy. There's all kinds of things you can get out there. These aren't really that expensive either. They're a set of wing burners and they're for stonefly wings here. There's the one at the back, the bigger one here, and then the medium on the inside, and then the smaller for the front. And you can just put them on and burn them with a little torch and really nice shape for your wings too. So another little gimmick for you there. If you're doing a lot of stonefly nymphs, they look great. We'll just do them. I'll just cut them just to show you how easy it is. You can do these at home. You don't need a lot of materials. Now I'm going to put my wing in there, but I want a bit of a hump in there to kind of flare that wing out. I'm going to go over one more time. There, I got a little more. Uh, that'll stand that wing bud up. The wings. Take a soft loop, kind of get it tied around. You can see where that looks pretty good. You just cut this off at an angle, wrap them butts down, then I'll come in and I'll just grab a hackle plier here so I can get a better turn. Lay this down so it's flat. Come in behind. I'm going to tie this down good. There we go. Snug that up. There, that looks pretty good. I'll come in again with another little piece of my turkey quilt. But you see how that really sticks, hangs together good. So you can pull off as much as you want. Cut it. shouldn't fall apart on you too much. This one's going to be a little bit narrower than that front. On a small one like this, I'd just use three. I actually have, or two. They actually have three. I'd, I'd use three on a maybe a bigger fly. This It's not a huge fly, but it's uh, they have a bigger one right at the back. But that gives you a pretty nice Uh, stonefly appearance, in my opinion. And then there's a lot of guys using lots of rubber legs and hackles and all kinds of things. But, you know, I'm just going to add a couple little legs on the side with my goose bites. You could have put another set in ahead of that first set if you wanted to. They actually have three on each side. But these bugs are going to be rolling down on the rocks. And they're not going to have much time to be counting legs when they're coming at them. They'll, if it's got the right color and the right shape and the right size, it's the most critical part of any fly is the color and size. If you're in, in, you're in the right color and the right size, you're in the game and you'll be on to some pretty nice fish. But they're going to be in the riffles looking for these stone flies to get bounced out of there, lose their footing, and they're a very nice meal for these fish. They're quite easy, quite easy to catch, of course. You're just drifting down on the rocks, so you want the weight. I'll just whip, finish that off. Now I'll grab myself some uh, solar res here. I'm just going to coat that thread. Get a little on that nice magic brown bead head. That's good, too. You can coat your fly if you want. If you want it more durable, you can go do that as well. But I like the, the coloration. Once it gets wet, it looks 
even a little better in the water, but it looks it's pretty natural color in my opinion. And it's pretty simple, fly to tie. You don't need a lot of materials and it'll put a lot of fish in the net for you. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll catch you again real soon.